Hiro Imahushi here from kendoguy.com. Thank you for watching. I have some comments about not lifting shoulders up. Uh, I wanted, I just wanted to add something to it. And please do leave messages. That encouraged me a lot. That gives me energy to keep going like this one. So please leave a message. Even if it's a negative comment, uh, that's fine. Uh, just be productive. If you don't like it, uh, please tell me what you didn't like it. Like, you know, someone said, oh, I wish you, I could see your feet or leg. No, he wanted to see the leg movements because I wear hakama. Uh, he couldn't see what's going on with the legs or feet. So such comment really helped me to, uh, such comments helped me to make better videos. So please do leave um, those comments. And if you like it, please click the like button. That encouraged me as well. So I know you like what I do. Okay. All right. Uh, so how not to lift? Keep your shoulders down. Basically, uh, you want to keep your shoulders down. So let's do it. Okay. Again, I have these uh, tapes so you can see uh, videos. Okay. Um, if you are adults, uh, if you're an adult, you have 39 shinai, right? And 39 shinai, the tsuka is pretty long. How long it is, is this is yaito. This is how long it is. And let's compare tsuka. Uh, tsuka. And tsuba level is the same. So if you can, can you see how long it is? Okay. So, if you take chudan, because the hands are this close, okay, we have this knot uh, in ska, in iaito or real sword, so you can't grab like this, like you do kendo, okay, so this close. So if you do it naturally, your body should be slightly side on, just a little bit, not intentionally side on, slightly side on. Okay, and if you, I take two down with this, because of the length, see, this, 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 so if I do it correctly, uh, the finger, index finger touching the tsuba, this long, so it's really long. And because the right hand is far forward, let's say if I grab my shoulder here, of course, it's, it's gonna be right hand oriented, so it's pull like that, okay? So the longer the tsuka is, you tend to use your right hand, okay? And from here, what I want to say is, because right hand is far from your body, okay? You tend to do this, pulling your sword with the right hand like that. It's already right hand oriented, okay? That's why, uh, in the other video, palm should be forward, right? Palm should be forward, so left hand comes up. Palm should be forward. Like, like this, okay, like that. Okay, to, if you do that, you can keep your right shoulder down, okay? You can keep your right shoulder down, and then come up, okay? Shoulders down, right? Shoulders down. When you strike man though, Okay, you have to be careful. If you start flipping too early, okay, shoulder comes up. Okay, if you start flipping too early, oops, I hit the ceiling. All right, shoulder comes up, and then as a result, your left hand too high, your shoulders up. Okay, because I have shoulder problem, I can feel uh, discomfort in here. All right, so I can't do it, okay? So to keep your shoulder down, okay, you have to think about flipping position. You can keep your shoulder down still. Shoulder down still, okay? It's down. And decide the position of the left hand. That's important. If you flip, start flicking here, it, you end up like that, and your left hand is too high. So bring it down to the right position 
maybe solar plexus. It depends on your height, your body structure. So if your solar plexus is too high, now higher than mine, of course, you have to adjust that. Okay, so it's easy for you to do what strike men, okay, men. And other thing I want to mention, I learned men is forehead here. Okay, some people strike here. So if you if you if you learn men is here, you should be striking the top of the head, and then what I'm telling you doesn't work because you have to flat really. If you have to strike here, so you have to do this, okay? So uh, it's, it doesn't work. What I learned is men is here, so that's how I teach too, okay? Men is forehead here, like that, okay? If you learned men is top of the head, it should be like that, okay? So it's too different. So assume, assuming you learned men is forehead here, okay? Do like that, okay? Keep your shoulders down and strike your forehead. I have someone in front of you, keep your shoulders down, okay? If you, if you lift up your left hand like that, as you can see, your left elbow comes up, okay? So keep it down and shoulders relaxed, your elbows relaxed, okay? And your left hand is relaxed. And left, left all elbow is relaxed. So this is the way I learned, okay? And this is what I teach, okay, like that, okay? And uh, the height of your tip, of course, if you strike men, it has to be main height. But if you strike, if you're doing suburi, a little lower. But anyway, so this, assuming this is the correct posture for you, okay? And left hand is here. So I have to, from here, bring my left hand down to that position and then flick. Like that, like this. Palm for the opponent and then up, you can keep your shoulder down, and from here, you can keep shoulder down and, and shoulder down, right? And I have to stop my left hand there and go. Okay, so in that way, the right shoulder doesn't move up and down. Uh, that's how I teach my students. And the important part is, uh, a lot of people try to hit let's say men strike, hit, trying to hit the target, of course that's what you're doing. But if you have to reach out like that, that means you're too far. Okay, or you're aiming at the top of the head. Okay, so if you, if you think you're too far, you have to get closer. So Isoku Itonoma and Uchima is a bit different. Isoku Itonoma is one step, one strike distance, right? So, but it doesn't mean you can strike from there. So you analyze yourself. If you have to get close a little bit, you don't want to start in Chikama, okay? Start from Isoku Itono or Shokujin no Ma, just about your, your swords are touching, okay? And then cross the sword, okay? You cross the sword and then you become Isoku Itono Ma, right? And get closer into so you get into your own distance striking distance and then strike me striking distance is you can reach your opponent comfortably without um, breaking your posture okay with so you can keep good posture and you can still strike me okay so if you want to uh, challenge yourself okay it's important thing is just Take a little step backwards so you can you you a bit bit far, okay. You can gain more distance, and you just keep striking uh, with a good posture, man. And then if the tip of the sword is touching the mangane, boom like that, and you, you you need to push yourself a little more. And if you try to push with 
lean forward of course you tend to do this so that is not good so you have to start you have to keep analyzing where you can strike your target comfortably so that's the number one thing you have to do okay so make sure so one make sure you know your distance analyze analyze where is your distance so you can strike comfortably and you need to have more confidence a lot of people think they can't reach that's why they start start breaking their posture uh, be confident if you don't strike men properly that means you're a little too far okay so get a little closer don't start in your striking distance that never happens okay striking distance uh, now you have to be uh, the shokuji no ma and then okay get into your striking distance then strike all right <clears throat> okay so important thing is not striking men that's the second that's the result okay that's your goal but that's the result of your keeping good posture and knowing good distance and then strike palm man comfortably and then pass through right and take sure that zanshi in the whole package okay so i hope you understand how you should keep your shoulders down at least theory but again my body posture and your body posture is different so you have to try to figure out okay this is a good if this is a good man strike how can i keep this while i'm striking men okay how can you keep that that's the key and then you start analyzing your kendo your distance your distance take your time no hurry kendo is a lifetime you know lifelong as long as you live you have to train okay thank you for watching and i'll see you let me know if you like it or not if you want to know more about how to keep your shoulders down let, let me know you encourage me a lot by doing that thank you for watching and see you in the next video